I'm Ant Pruitt, and it's time for a beer. Yo, what's going on? Ant Pruitt here. And um, this is a shout out video to my man, Tony Busco. He said that, you know what, Ant? Do a, bit, do a video about beer. <laughs> I said, okay, sure. Um, I guess he said that because I don't just drink, you know, Budweiser, Miller Lite. And don't get me wrong, I love Miller Lite. But I also love, uh, I love the microbrews. Stuff like uh, Fat Tire and, and OMB and things like that. I share that. I'm on that social service, what's it called? Untap. I'm on there. Just look me up and prove it. And I'll put a link at the bottom. I thought I'd do a quick little rundown of a recent microbrew that I picked up. It's called Pisgah Graybeard IPA. Pisgah is not too far from where I live here in North Carolina. Yeah, Black Mountain, North Carolina. This Pisgah Graybeard IPA. Um, IPA, what is that? IPA beers are, all beers are made with um, hops and barley. With, with IPAs, you get a lot more hop concentration which tends to make it a little more of a floral smell and as far as the taste it can be bitter sometimes the bitter is bad for people but other times um, the bitter works just right personally my favorite beers are IPAs I think it's because of when I drink beer number one I don't drink beer to get drunk I drink beer because I love the taste when I drink these beers, I like to smell them first because when you, I don't care what it is, whatever you're eating or drinking, the smell of it affects how it tastes to you. That's just a scientific fact. And IPAs always smell pretty daggum good to me. So we're gonna try this here, Pisgah Graybeard IPA. Crack this open. And yes, this is a late night dinner for me. Uh, it's been a long day, but it's been a productive day. I know you're saying these crack it open a microbrew in a can. Um, what the heck is up with that? Well, some microbrews, they do come in cans. And for the most part, I've had a good experience with them. Uh, there's only been one or two that were in a can that I think shouldn't have happened. Personally, I prefer a bottle. Uh, beer just tastes better in a bottle, period. That's my opinion. Your mileage may vary, but I like to, even when I have it in a bottle, I like to pour it in a you know standard pint glass like you can find in any bar in America or in Europe or whatever. But um, just grab yourself a pint glass. There are other glasses out there that can help enhance the the uh, aromas of the beers. They're shaped a little bit differently and have a, a little different texture on the bottom. But if you want to get into that, you can. I haven't done that, but because uh, I think these pint glasses work just fine. So let's go ahead and give this a pour. And you like, you, you should try to get a little bit of a head on your beer because that foam and head right there, it has all of the aromatics. So when you pick it up, you can really smell it. And this is a standard IPA. You can see from the color. Uh, it's usually sort of a blondish color. Uh, sometimes it's a little more uh, translucent than this one is. This is a little opaque, but it'll work. It smells good though, so let's see how it tastes. Well, it's an IPA. Um, it's not something to write home about, but it's but it's good. It's not bad, but it doesn't uh, stop me in my tracks and say, "Whoa, this is the IPA." I have a few IPAs that I absolutely love. Um, one of them is by uh, the brewing company New Belgium, and it's called Ranger. It's probably my favorite IPA. It's it's so potent with its smell and it's really really light to drink this here it, it, it's pretty good 
If I was on a rating on a scale of um, one to five, I'll give it a three and a half because it's not bad. Um, but but then again, it's not just absolutely stellar. So there you have it. IPA, Pisgah Graybeard IPA. Check them out. Follow me over on uh, Untapped. And you can uh, see what other beers that I've been enjoying. I'm sure I'm going to have a lot more than this. Uh, but not tonight, though. It's getting late. So, check them out. Thank you folks for watching. Shout out to Mr. Tony Bushko. Thanks for uh, the idea. And I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll catch y'all later. Peace.